What's up YouTube? It's the Real Code Burnout. Welcome back to my channel and once again <laughs> you've entered the snake pit. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> All right so you saw my you saw I've been ordering a bunch of stuff online and this is still true. Yeah, let me get this adjusted. So I got another package to unbox here. This is from the Daisy Air Gun Museum. I'll put the links down below. This is something special. It looks like this package almost came open. Oh my goodness. That's right. Let me get over here in the proper lighting. Red Rider, a Christmas dream, a Christmas dream edition. This is the 30th anniversary collector's edition. All right, look at that date. So this came out in 2013. So. In 1983, the movie A Christmas Story, where Ralphie wants his Red Rider BB gun with compass in the stock and this thing tells time. That movie came out. Oh yeah, we're going to open this. Let me get this open let's take a look at it. This one, no staples, which I'm happy about. Just opens like it should. All right, looks like the the foam in the packaging is leaves a lot to be desired because it has been rattling around in here. I don't know if that's how they boxed them back in the old days, but look at that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's see if I can get it in the light. My finish. You can see it right there. Finish is scuffed, scuffed up. This one, the, got all the, I'm about to vacuum all that up. Let me pop this zip tie off real quick. So on the right side you have the Red Rider engravings. This is a nice walnut stock. Right here it's engraved or etched or I don't know if they're laser burning these. A Christmas Dream. So this is based off of Ralphie's Christmas Dream from that movie. And it has the date there. Oh, actually not the date. My bad. This is the numbering. So they only made 2,500 of these. And this one is number 2,069. I can't tell you how happy I am with the... Uh, <laughs> the number 2069 yeah it's a late number but I'm just happy I was able to get this off their site you know what that means or two of these we'll see what number that one is but that means they're getting they're starting to come to the end of these you got the golden band there now let's flip it over to the the money side right here. Look at that. 30th anniversary, a Christmas dream. There's the dates. So the movie when it came out and then the 30th anniversary date, 2013. There's that compass in the stock. And here's that thing that tells time. So you can see it says sundial. So you just use it like a sundial, put a little peg in there or something. I don't know. It's not really drilled out. It's got a little bit of a indention there. So something to cast that shadow. Maybe it works. I don't know. Let's check the compass. You won't be able to see it, but compass actually works. Okay. So real quick, I'm really excited about this backstory on these. The one that Ralphie used in the movie. His compass and stuff was actually on the right side. 
because he was left-handed in the movie. You'll you'll see that if you go rewatch the movie. And so it was kind of a one-off. Daisy actually wasn't making them with compasses in the stock when the movie came out. They made them as soon as that movie came out. They they started making them. So there was a, a some runs of them, and they had various compasses, different ones, different manufacturers of compass that they would put in there. So since then, the Daisy Museum has made a if I'm not mistaken, a 20th, a 25th, and a 30th anniversary. So, I'm just happy to have that uh, compass in the stock. So, Adios, Black Bart. <laughs> Alright, one more thing here. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. So, there you go. Nice little certificate of authenticity. In the Daisy Air Gun Museum. A Christmas dream. Red Rider BB gun. <laughs> yep, I think Ralphie would be happy with this. Here it is with the standard Red Rider BB gun, current model. And you can see, like, definitely the walnut stock is, is a darker finish. This, whatever this stock is made out of, is a, on the current model, is a more reddish tint to it. And the beauty, the grains and everything in the this walnut stock, I'm sitting here looking at the camera screen and it doesn't even do it justice. I think it looks even better in person. But you can see the differences in the bands. Okay. Okay, there you go. It's a little side by side comparison. See that has the made in China at the bottom. Not to repeat myself, but that is left off of this rifle, and that's really cool. So there it is. It's got all the standard features of the Red Rider. Let's see what uh, number the other one is. Let's see if it. I can hear it flopping around, so it didn't fare any better. Better in the. Packaging, I don't think. No, same way. That's a big disappointment. It's not scuffed on that side. Golly, I'm gonna have to vacuum. All right, number, number. Well, look at that. 2028, so it's not se sequential. So that tells me they got them stacked up on the shelf, so I don't know how they're they're grabbing them off the shelf. Maybe they grab from the top top of the two stacks. So I got a 2028 number and a 2069. This one, being the lower number, actually initial looks of it looks like it is actually in basically mint condition. So I'm not gonna pop. Oh, well, that's interesting. It has a different uh, has a different color zip tie on there. I'm not going to pop the zip tie on this one. I'll keep in the box. I am going to get another piece of foam and I'm gonna get this set up in there better. That's kind of a uh, not cool. All right, there it is. If you want your compass in the stock, and if you want your Red Rider BB gun with compass in the stock and this thing that tells time, head on over to the DaisyMuseum.com. I'll put the link down below. Or will I? Maybe I'll save them all for myself and just keep buying them. Boom!